Yeah, AI is quite well advanced now, specifically uh, taking into account this AI is from the centralized AI development is going to personalize or tailored to the specific service and applications. Has is one of the important domains to uh, advance of this AI technology to tailored has uh, a related subject. That is a major part. Uh, following of this, your second question is uh, that uh, most important part is we are uh, promising part should be the how we can uh, recognize those pattern recognition by uh, sc uh, scanning of these uh, medical uh, photos, medical uh, scans, medical images. There are many other areas, even analyzing the medical data, which might be is uh, AI is better than the human beings' abilities, uh, only from, the, uh, from the, this accuracy and the reliability aspect. Yeah, that's, uh, for you know, so getting benefit of this AI for health, we need uh, data. But this data is possibly we uh, we understand the data should be uh, the human, especially uh, race oriented, or some of sex oriented, or some of age oriented, some of country oriented, regionals. So data will be quite widely spread out. So how we can collect all this data, how we can verify all this data, how we can ensure this uh, genuity of this data, all this is a very challenging subject. And the whole collected data has so become of these global applications. That is another big challenge. That's the reason why this ITU get together with the WHO as a UN agencies to address all this data or use of AI for health in global sense. Yeah, it might be misunderstood uh, outside. Uh, so we try to develop some AI standard or a, a, a health standard. This is out of our scope. It, uh, I want to say this is quite early stage. So the uh, important part is after collecting of these health data with uh, some applying of this AI uh, technologies, we may find some of the pieces of this, uh, some called the snapshots, snapshots of these uh, subject areas. We can continuously recursive of this, and then with these uh, collected snapshots, we may use benchmark to apply, to apply specific cases, to apply specific countries. We get this assessment after this benchmarking tools. It'd be very helpful for this uh, all citizens who need some assistance from AI for health. After we, if we can continue this exercise, we may have a good opportunity, better situations to get all this AI for health uh, to enhance all this health environment. Yeah, this, uh, even this first meeting always very important because uh, this uh, health community IT community is quite different, they separated. It was separated, different community, even IT, WHO as a different organizations. So we might be have some use of different language, maybe use of the same language for different objectives. And also our understanding of this, uh, each uh, different other side, like uh, IT communities understand of health uh, areas, health communities understanding of IT technologies might be limited. So this first meeting is we can share this, our experiences. We can try to set the scene of this, how we can start together with the same ground, same language, same frameworks. This is the main objective. So this workshop today is especially addressed on this. So after this first uh, meeting, we will move forward the practical subject, practical issues, how to collect, how to assess, how to uh, find out some of the solutions.